Uh, if you were president today, how would you handle the collapse of SVP? How would you direct your Treasury to handle that? Would you bail them out? What would that look like under a President Ramaswamy? So I would not bail out either SVB or even the depositors, because here's what's actually going on. SVB made some Silicon Valley Bank made some uniquely bad management decisions. One of them is, first of all, they have a depositor base that's really concentrated of tech startups in Silicon Valley. A staggering nearly 90 percent of their deposits are uninsured. That's an anomaly compared to most banks in this country. So what's happening right now is a lot of Silicon Valley executives and VCs this weekend. Many of them have even reached out to me to push this narrative that that's going to create a bank run in America if Silicon Valley Bank isn't actually bailed out. But what they're doing is actually trying to create the fear of one. I think that could actually become a self-fulfilling prophecy, which is dangerous. But the reality is Silicon Valley Bank also had exposure to interest rate tethered securities that they could have hedged. A normal bank would have done that. Silicon Valley Bank did not. So I do not think we should reward that kind of bad behavior, that kind of bad mismanagement. And even on behalf of many startup companies who put their money in a concentrated way into that one bank, I don't think we should be rewarding that with a bailout. And I'm consistent. I was also against the student loan bailouts, you know, that President Biden's proposed. But I think you can't talk out of both sides of your mouth saying that Silicon Valley Bank deserves to be bailed out while people who hold student loans shouldn't. I think that actually we should let the market work here. Let Silicon Valley Bank fail if needed. But if the government needs to do one thing. Here's what I will say. It's get out of the way if another bank actually wants to acquire Silicon Valley Bank. There's a lot of credible rumors this weekend that actually the government are going to obstruct an acquisition because they don't want more concentration risks in other banks. No, I think the government needs to get out of the way. And if another bank actually wants to buy and save Silicon Valley Bank through the private sector itself, they should be permitted to do that.